Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have equipped everybody with elements of some kind or another. Let us look at them real quick. I also found out that there are more elements on sale in the store, so I bought some. So let us look what we have here. New stuff I got. I got uh, Upheaval, which is a new spell. Got Bush Basher. Got a Cure Plus. Got Aqua Ball. And Heal All. And there's a couple other that are actually equipped, I believe. Um, Cure Plus, negative one, because I don't want Recover All on you. Ice Blast, which we've already seen. Um, what else did we get that was new? Oh, Fire Pillar. Yeah, I gave Greco all the Fire Pillars because he likes fire in a pillar form. Um, I think that's all that we got that was new, which I thought was actually kind of useful. Let's get on that boat. It's going to be the first time we've gotten to drive the boat ourselves, so it should be fun. game, I still say, has some of the best music ever. But since we get to control this boat, we get to see this is Gaia's Naval. We don't get to go here yet, but it's Gaia's Naval. This is the Sky Dragon Isle. Over here is Goldov, right? Are you not Goldov? Am I not allowed to go there yet? Oh, fine. Never mind. That's, that place doesn't exist yet. This is the Water Dragon Isle. This is the El Nido Triangle. This is a Marbul, which is a place we will visit in the Sea of Eden, which is a special place. This... Can I go here yet? Whatever. We'll come back to this place later. Um, Dick Fog makes it fish build your hero. Pull back for now. Then you got Hermit's Hideaway. And we have the Isle of the Damned. All these places we will get to adventure to and more. Let's go to the smoky place first. As you can see, you get off the boat first, and then you can move. We burned out Hermit's Hideaway. I have to stop recording for a split second, but I'll be right back. On your end, it won't even look any different. See? Told you, you wouldn't even notice. Let's go to the hideout. I keep forgetting to starting my clock back up, just so I don't go retort, retort, record too long. What on earth happened? Could Lynx could have done this? That's correct. Oh, God. More bad French. Mm, maybe not. The collector answers, I did this under Monsieur Lynx's orders. Salut, sir. This you miss what? Uh, what have you done with Radius? Ooh la la, Glenn. You were so fired up. Ooh. Tell me. He's like Batman. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. But do you want to know why I burned this place to the ground? I don't give a fuck. Why am I not tell me? Well, first of all, I'll teach you all a lesson. And second, to get rid of the Kizo who lives here. He is an ally of the Akesha Dragoons, and here he is quite skilled. I was disappointed to see that Gizo isn't here. I wonder what he wants. And one more thing, sir. Monsieur Lynx gave me one more order. That is to slow down your pursuit. Here I go. Okay. Okay. We're fighting a clown, guys. Clown fight. If in the time you wish. At least we can. Well, first off, look at that new swallow. That is one rusty ass swallow. Now let's smack her around a little bit. I'm gonna show something off because you guys haven't seen this yet. So let's go with Glenn. Get your your element thing up. Oh, oh, just throw stuff at us. Ow, jerk. There, Greco. Yeah, do a running backflip. Now we'll have Surge swing a couple more times. No other reason to get Greco stamina. But the interesting thing this game has in conjunction with games like, oh, say, Chrono Trigger, the return of double tags. So they both have this weird move where they, like, run and attack somebody with their weapon. This is an extra. So they both use it, as you can see. And now you've seen it. And that's literally all it was. Everybody is happier now because of it. We'll have Greg to swing a few times, do a backflip, a punch her in the pit. And then, oh, let's demo a clothesline because we haven't seen it yet. He floats. 
That's his move, is he floats like a bat. Her ass is all kinds of kick right now. Meteorite? You're black element, why would you use a meteor on me? That's just dumb. That's bad gameplay. Let's just swing at you until you die. I'm not even going to waste my elements on you. Because I'm just going to miss you entirely. But that sounds more fun to me. Also, I'm trying to save up my tears so I don't have to use tablets. Why, Greco? Why do you miss? Actually, I don't think it matters, because Glenn has heal. He's about full. So let's just smack her. Alright, fine. You want to keep using meteor? I'll use a meteor. Taste my rock. Mon Dieu, moi la vie And yes, I'm well aware that the French accent is awful. I don't care. I have fun doing this. But no star. The fight was too easy for a star. Let's heal everybody. And get some moon glasses. I wonder if you can moonwalk with the moon glasses. I'm immature. Ooh la la, you will be this wrong, Terre I think I say that. But that's all the fun for today. Le poof. Au revoir, Serge. And we're all just like, what? Are you one of Lynx's minions? Hey, I remember him. He's the Force Tutorial guy that we skipped. Radius, you are safe. Oh, that you glad it's been a while? You see him well. I remember, I just imagine him as Master Roshi, groping people. I am glad you are all right. Yes. <laughs> Miss Riddell has informed me that Lynx and the General were heading to Fort Dragonia. I played it safe and went into hiding for a while. And it looks like Link did, did play me visit. I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That is why I made sure to build a still sturdy stronghold underground. I believe it should be still be intact. Let's go investigate it after Lynx is plotting something. By the way, Glenn, who are these people? Oh, they are... Well, no sense standing out here. Please, come into my humble house. I see. Like how they just stood there in the passageway and spoke. I believe that that was supposed to be one of those montage things where they don't talk. Got any loot? Got any treasures for me? Got a table. Can I look at the table? No, no, nothing? Okay. How about this? You got any loot over here? Any loot? No loot? You don't have anything, old man? God damn it. Yes, I once really just saw it as a proud member of the... He's not the French guy. Or the wrestler or whatever. Glenn's father, Garai, the blacksmith zapper on Ayusta, tower up the battlefield. But that was a good 15 years ago. When Garai lost his life on the central continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. I officially retired four years ago after Dario received his father's sword, the Anlanza. I have been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Lynx approached General Vapor. He spoke of the legendary treasure of the Frozen Flame, which is to hear all illnesses and fulfill any dreams. I do not know what this man Lynx is plotting, but I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Paul with the power of its legendary flame. Paul is a nation governed by militarism and brought on suffering many people in the continent of Xenon. Perhaps the general divisions of a bright and peaceful world must like Guardia at one time. Reference to Chrono Trigger. Or is he planning to find the answers to why we have to continue to hurt and kill each other since antiquity? In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in these conflicts. Besides, there is no way I would want to face General Viper in battle. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering the seas around here. Rumor has it they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> Any of any other words of wisdom? Take care of yourselves. Oh, well, that's useful. Any other loot? Or any loot? I would like some kind of treasure. I feel like I worked so hard to make your home safe. It's all burnt out. Burnt to shit. What have we got going on over here? A well. A boarded up well. Some kind of shiny over here. Some plants. Burnt up wood. Fly in the background. Oh, apparently nothing. Alright. So, that would appear to be the world. Oh, and I forgot. 
this little thing right here is also a place you can stop at. So let's show this off. This is like, not necessarily a hidden spot, but it's not advertised. It's like an Easter egg, but not. Because it's hardly an Easter egg. In fact, this little hut in the future completely sucks right now. What brings you to a desolate place like this? It's more or less your fault that we dummy humans are condemned. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I didn't do anything. But yes, be prepared to see this place again in the future and hear me hate it. But the future is quite a ways from now. It's not anything we have to worry about anytime soon. I can attest to that. Anyways, let's get back on our boat. I just think it's weird that they've got this thing right here too. It's like, oh you can't go back, oh no, but you, you can go around. I think it has a purpose later on, but right now it's just dumb. So right now we can't go any farther because of the thick fog. So. We're going to pull back, and we're going to go into the fog the next time I put up an episode, which will be next week, I think, if I remember my days correctly. So thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series, and next week, next episode, we enter the fog. Later. Later.